it's day two in Cabo, Mexico, and I'm in their store called Mega, which is kind of like a gigantic Walmart. Um, because Marcus forgot to pack a belt, and then I want to see if there's any baby items that I need here. We walked here, and it was hot as heck. Oh, sandals. My husband needs sandals. I have to see if he has any. But they have like little baby stuff. So I'm going to see if I can find anything um, for them to send me. Oh, look at it. Look. I so should have looked up the what, how to convert money before I came here. I have never seen this before. Foster Flakes are Sucaritas. There's so many things here that I have never seen the names that's on it. I get to eat maybe some cinnamon toast crunch because they don't have honey bunches of those. They only have almond bunches of those. So I get to make uh, a bad choice. Yeah. They, probably, they probably don't have that either. Yeah, they do. some apple jacks down there. Is Scooby on a cereal at, at home? No. They I got choco. Sucaritas. Corn Malavai Viscos. And corn pops. The tiger's got so much flavor. <laughs> oh, yeah. The tiger's been in a gang. <laughs> if this zebra is not telling you how sugary the cereal is probably going to be, doesn't he look winged out? Eat your breakfast. It's Eddie. Is it? <laughs> It's Chris Rock from Madagascar. This is neat. They use a lot of cartoon animals. And maybe they do that in the States, but because we don't eat little kids cereal, we don't notice it, but it's a lot. Ooh, instead of apple jacks, apple things. This is blowing my mind. So me and the bambinos are about to go outside. They're gonna get in the pool for the first time. Right? Right? They got all their sunscreen, their hats, and their little swimmer diapers. We're gonna get in the pool with Daddy and Grandma and Granny, huh? Get in the pool for the first time. Yay! Hi. Hey, look at your mommy. Hi, baby. Look up. Hey. <laughs> look up. Look at him! <laughs> He's really smelling. Come on! One, two, three! Look! Look at your mommy! Hi, pumpkin! Look at your mommy! Hi, pumpkin! Look up! He's like, I'm just gotta focus on this water. I know it. <laughs> I've had a couple of drinks. We had a restaurant called Tropicana and the mommies are with us with the babies. You all just missed Todd licking on the glass. He was going in. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. I'm trying to wait until six months before I, re before I introduce anything. But if he started to get interested in things that I am eating or drinking, I kind of feel like I should start uh, introducing him to different stuff. The doctor said that we could start introducing him to, to different foods as early as four months, but since they haven't had anything foreign on their stomach, they've only had breast milk, they encourage you to wait as long as possible. But look at him, he's going to town. Of course, it's a man of the I can't wait to get our food. I'm so hungry. It's 11 o'clock. It got hotter at night. Yeah. The camera's not on. It is. Oh, it, uh, I can see through this. Oh, it's right. You're looking at the business end. I'm at the business end of it. Yeah, it cooled off. Like, when the sun came out, and now there's no sun, and it's like 375% humidity. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving it, though. It's tropical. I've been pulling out the Spanish that I do know and I was talking to the taxi driver and asked him how he was doing here. He asked me how he was doing this all in Spanish. 
And he was like, mucho calor. And I was like, I know what you're saying. Yes, it is hot as hell. Okay, let me put down the camera and enjoy my time with my family. All right, it's the end of day two. Dinner was amazing. Yes, I have on my hair bonnet. This is what really turns Marcus on. That's what I have on my hair bonnet. And I'm being sarcastic, but can we give a round of applause? I'm not sure if y'all can see this. Let me get in the light to this lipstick that I have on. I got it at um, a pre-party for BeautyCon. It's NYX. Let me get in the light. It's their um, Vivid Luminous something. I'll try to remember to leave it in the description box. The lipstick and the lash stuff that I have on. I'll do a whole video on it because I'm just loving my look. It might look a mess now because it's the end of the day, but I feel like I did that. All right, good night. It is 1 p.m. and we are in hot ass downtown Cabo. The babies are confused on why it's so hot. My breasts are leaking both milk and sweat. My husband is using one of the baby's burping cloths <laughs> to wipe his sweat. Um, <laughs> but there's a breeze moving around all the side air, so hopefully it'll help. And I got me a Cuban hybrid. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I can't believe he can think about smoking as hot as it is. Oh. Get them when you can. This way I can smoke it legally and not have to pay $50 for one in LA. Well, we, not that I know how to get one. We are now <laughs> going to look at some of these shops in sweat. In sweat. In sweat. This is beautiful. So we're not staying at this resort. It's called the Grand Mayan. But I've dri we've driven past it like four times. And I, my husband didn't really get a chance to see the inside of it. But look at these gigantic statues. Marcus, get in the shot so they can understand how big they are. Like 20 feet behind me. They're gorgeous. And there's a dude. And then there's a private beach out there. It's pretty dope. If we ever come back to Cabo, I'll be trying my best to get us up into a place like this. We love our place, but it's not on grandioso stuff like this. Look at that column. Immaculate. We get ready to go swimming. Where are you going, sir? Yeah. We get ready to go swimming. Ty's turning over. Ty's trying to crawl. No. No. What are you doing? We just walked three or four miles in the heat. Back to the hotel because we wanted to sightsee. Now we're about to get in the pool and drink. Yes, yes. You all were troopers. Y'all gonna get in the pool too. You were troopers. Troopers. <laughs> per my husband's request, we are about to get on a uh, razor. It's not an ATV. It has a cage around it. Regardless, we're about to be in the desert. And Marcus is driving. And I'm fine. Or we couldn't do jet skiing because the ocean is at orange. It looks like it's at a hazard of red. Yeah, it looks like it's at a red. The waves look like they're like 100 feet. Uh, so, so we I didn't want like, to die. I gotta get on some type of motorized transportation that's not uh, on a vehicle. So we're doing. <laughs> I twisted up my hair so that my afro wouldn't get all dirty. So hopefully we'll come out on the other side not pissed off at each other in both in tact. Of course he would. And uh, our driver, Eric, he's a good time. I'm going to try to vlog him on the way back home. I'm going to teach him how to snap. This is, today is our official anniversary. Happy eight years, baby. We're getting ready to go. We got on our helmets, our bandanas. We got a Corona. I feel like every time they see me, I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Or cooking. 
thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Margarita. Anniversary number eight, 2015. I have to say, I think I did a very good job planning it. Would you not agree? I definitely agree. I agree more than you. Yay! I agree so much that I disagree with your agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. So Marcus has been driving his ass off. He's been a speed. What I was born to do. That's what God made me for. Is that what driving. God made me for? One of the things, yeah. Um, I feel like obviously my, making babies. <laughs> I feel like one of my well, my only margaritas about to come up. But look at the surroundings. Oh, we in the middle of nowhere. If they left us, we would never get out of here. We would just die. We would go find that cow, eat the cow, and then die after that. Yeah. If we could find the horse, there was a horse out here in the middle of nowhere. We might be able to try to safety. And then there was a cow just in the middle of nowhere. I'm tired. Taking another break um, on this RV trail. I just want y'all to see the Pacific. RV? Oh, it's not an RV. It ATV, but we're in a Razor. It's beautiful. Those waves are no joke. Marks get a little crazy with the left and right driving. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Don't enjoy that here. part at all, but I don't mind the speed. We've been having a good time. But I'm ready to go home. But we've been having a good time. Can y'all even see me? Let me turn this way. Can you see me? It's bright as hell. So we are finally almost back to our hotel. Did you have a good time? Yeah. We both, we both definitely say we had a good time. Yeah. I've had a great time talking to our driver, Eric. Yes. <laughs> Who knows? His English is so freaking good and he's learned it all on his own it makes me feel like a okay well, woman <laughs> he also found out that eric thinks that most women drivers can drive <laughs> he's, and he's very he's like they can't drive they can't he's very adamant about that granted he does drive for a living so he would know better than i but i don't agree <laughs> i do not agree we are back in America with the twins. They're both asleep. Look my hubby of eight years. Praise God for the USA. And now we're about to go do five Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, let me get off of here so we can get back to our homeland. And I'm sticking with uh, Hawaii or I don't know, an island somewhere. 